Okay, so this is the result of our emission baking in 3ds Max. Now I was able to bring it into Unity. Um, these are my final textures here. And I applied them to, I have these two separate materials. Now this one is the one on the right and it has the emission map that was generated in 3ds Max using a complete map render to texture um, setting and then placing that directly in the emission map slot. Uh, I'm then able to control the emission amount and you can see that if it sets to zero the shadows are gone and at one it's roughly equal to my target um, what I was trying to shoot for was this spotlight scene over here. So I think I got pretty close and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but yeah, the, the emission map actually creates what seems like a light source from this lamp and the bulb inside and projects it onto the surface and the objects here. Now it's not actually creating that light as I've discussed it's just an emission map using you know a one emission channel that controls all these objects um, with the, with this material applied now this material over here just has all the same uh, texture slots and material settings but it does not have the emission map or it's set to zero I should say um, and you can see that it's a similar effect it doesn't because it doesn't have the emission this doesn't appear to be lit up but it does have a similar look to it except this is going to take a lot more calculations for how the light creates these shadows and affects these surfaces over here all the calculations are already rendered in so as long as these objects don't move if they're set to static or however you plan on you know using them as long as they don't move the shadows will always fall exactly where you see them and the light source of course shouldn't move either so it's a pretty efficient way to get light mapping in and allow allow the use of an emission map to control the values of uh, the color so I could set this to a green color and I could turn off the lights, turn on the lights. And you know, it doesn't have to be the only light in your scene. You could easily have a directional light that creates some sort of ambient light to the scene and it still has these shadows, which is which is nice because that's that's kind of what we were shooting for. Okay, so here's another example scene of emission light mapping. Uh, this is for our game Lacuna Passage, and uh, this is a internal area of a walkway bridge uh, type structure. So here we actually have only one point light in the scene, and it's to kind of illuminate this central area. Um, everything else is done through emission mapping. So the plastic is emiss emissive. Uh, these kind of fluorescent lighting lights are emissive and you know even some other objects in the scene such as these lights uh, but we're going to take a look at these lights here and they actually have the emissive uh, map also lighting some of these objects uh, nearby so if I quickly pause the scene and on my other monitor here I can go over and I can tweak the emission values and you can see if I over expose them you really can tell where the light hits these objects so you know it's a useful tool for lots of situations and this is just an in-game you know example of where it's used and you can see the lights turning off and the lights turning back on and if I oversaturate them or um, overexposed rather you can really notice it on the sides of the uh, surrounding structure